This is a documentation of a night that I will remember forever. This flare-up has left me a lot weaker than the last one. I blame that on the fact that I just couldn't eat anything at all, and I'm also on a much higher dose of pregnizone. I can't even begin to describe how awful it feels to be on this stuff, and how your body feels like it's disappearing right before your eyes. The side effects seem like they never end, and I just want to be off as quickly as possible. One thing that I've come to terms with is that pregnizone is a treatment. It's not a cure. My entire life, the thing I had always had most control over was my body. I'm a dancer. I knew I was strong, in shape, healthy, and beautiful. And it was the one thing I took for granted. I can't even begin to explain what it was like to lose that feeling, to go from eating whatever your heart desires to rejecting food altogether to feel like your body is being emptied of life and you're so weak that you don't even know how to use your muscles to walk. I want to be free of medication and on a diet where I don't want a single flare up. There is no benefit, not one, from being on this treatment. And I refuse to go through this and experience these awful side effects ever again. There has to be another way. I want to be able to dance again. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease when I was 21. It literally felt like I had swallowed hot coals and they were just kind of smoldering in my stomach all day, every day. I started urinating blood and a lot of it, and I had a lot of lower back pain. Henoch Schonlein purpura is a genetic blood disorder. Essentially, it's a vasculitis. My son, when he was 13, um, was at a pretty hard school and so there was a lot of stress. In October of 2004 I started uh, having my symptoms. The, the bottom line of my symptoms was that I couldn't eat anything. Everything I ate made me sick. Ten years ago I uh, had a swollen testicle and prostate. My husband went looking and searching for some help for me because I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and I was having really a hard time. My symptoms included just a lot of <clears throat> bloody, I mean, I passed a lot of blood. And started experiencing mood swings and dramatic loss of energy and problems sleeping. I knew that I had to make some dramatic changes in my life. And I looked at my wife and I said, Kathy, please don't take this wrong. I am not suicidal, but I really don't want to keep on living. I can't live like this anymore. I had no color in my lips when I first came. I was all I was completely white. I was having probably, I don't know, it seemed like I went to the bathroom 40 times a day. I mean. I had bloody stool. I had sharp pain shooting down my left leg. And edema, I had swelling in my joints, particularly in my lower extremities. Uh, he did have Crohn's. His um, intestine was fairly ulcerated. Now, they tested me a lot and didn't really have any advice other than <clears throat> we'll eventually find it, whatever it is. We had more feelers out than you can imagine and looking for anything, uh, something that gave us some hope. I left there and I thought, there's no way we're going this way. We've got to find something else. Quite a few months ago, I bought this book called Controlling Crohn's Disease, The Natural Way, written by Virginia Harper. I read about how someone in my situation can completely turn their life around and make something wonderful out of it. From a disease that you could think is a curse has become a blessing. It was just inspirational, and it put me in the right direction to begin to push myself. I believe I want to do this. I know I can. I'm giving it my everything everything I have left to give.
friends started giving me Jenny Harper's name and the Key of Life Learning Center's name, and they kept saying, this is the person. You need to call Jenny. You need to call Jenny. Well, I was the ultimate skeptic. I went out that day and found the last copy of, at Davis Kidd of um, Controlling Crohn's the Natural Way. Uh, read it. I usually read about five minutes at night before I go to sleep. Uh, I read this book in about, you know, three hours. I couldn't put it down. And it was the first glimmer of hope that I've seen for my son. I knew that it worked from day one, like I could feel a change in my body and my life. Well, I came to Key of Life Learning Center looking to regain the health that I knew was there. It was just kind of misplaced. It was the best decision I've ever made in my life. These changes that have occurred have uh, changed my life because I feel wonderful. I have a good energy level. I have uh, no cravings for sugar. And I realized that through what I can learn here at the Key of Life Learning Center, it's endless. I started with simple, basic changes just substituting things one day at a time, and as my body responds, I got my life back. Within like a month, two months, uh, so many wonderful things happened. I started sleeping through the night. Um, I've had so much energy every day. I get up in the morning and I'm able to feel awake. One of the most moving moments for me was um, as I got better and healthier, I went back to dance. And there was one particular moment I remember where I was competing in the Miss New York State pageant. And we were doing our dress rehearsal and we're up on the stage and I'm running my, my dance routine. And, and I did it. I felt like I was dancing again for the first time in years that I, I was able to have that energy to push through the routine and hit everything the way I wanted to nail it and every turn was on and every leap was extended and it just felt so amazing that I got off the stage and I started crying. It did work and slowly I began to, to get better and better and better. I was able to transition off of the anti-inflammatories that I was prescribed. I started getting better right away. The third day, he said something we hadn't heard in a long time. He said, uh, you know what, I'm hungry. And that was the beginning. My life has never been any better than it is right now. And I thank God again for you. My PSA went from in the 200s to almost normal within two weeks. I haven't taken any drugs in over, it's been a year and a month now. And um, I've had to deal with two flare-ups during that. And both of them I've gotten under control in less than four days through just eating. Looks good, feels good, tons of energy. Um, just the picture of health. I am able to do things now that I haven't done in years. I am much healthier. Making the transition to macrobiotics through the education and assistance of the Key of Life has brought, brought me to the healthiest I've ever been in my life. I've never felt this good, I've never been this happy, and I no longer live in fear of compromising my health to this illness. It may uh, a bit of an activist for um, uh, macrobiotics and for the Key of Life Learning Center. And I owe it all to Virginia Harper and the Key of Life. She is focusing me in a direction for lifelong healthy living and I will forever be grateful to Jenny Harper and the Key of Life Institute. I thank God for the Key of Life Learning Center. I thank God for you, Virginia Harper, for all that you've done for me. I just, I want the word to get out and I'll do anything I can to get it out. I'm healthy. I, and I wake up every morning feeling great and I never have to worry about my health again. I never have to worry about running to the bathroom. I just, I'm, I'm able to do everything that I missed out on for a while. And not only that, but I'm able to do it better than ever. And 
my dreams, my aspirations are just all coming back and I have so many goals for myself. So I've, I've really honestly just never been happier. I wanna dance.